So we shot this video. This is a pretty elaborate pool, did a complete leak detection. First, we listened to absolutely everything. When we did, we heard a leak at the skimmer. After we heard the leak at the skimmer, we backed ourselves up with a static cone test. We had a direct pull. We actually shut the valve at the equipment. We put it under pressure with both air and water. Check it out and see how we got it done. So this is a high-end pool in Southern California. We have a pool spa combo with a negative edge. So we have a catch basin. We have to listen to this whole entire pool. Here's the equipment area, multiple pumps, dual heaters, single filtration. Make a mental note of what we have going on when before we start listening. And again, we listen to every pool. We listen to front and back ports of skimmers. One front going to main drain, back going to suction. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our pull scope around and we're gonna pull over our main drains. In this case, we have dual main drains. So it's drop and drag to the first, drag it over to the second, and we're gonna listen around all protrusions. Even when we have umbrella stands that are static, we listen to them. We listen to, to lights, we listen to LED lights. Here we're listening to the spa, we're listening to all the, the spa suction, the lights and the spa jets or anything that's protruding. Next, we're gonna come down to our negative edge. In all our catch basins, we have auto fills. We sometimes have returns, sometimes they have their own filtration. That's why when we went up to the pump, we see what we have going on. In this case, we're gonna take a step up onto the wall to see if we have anything riding on the negative edge wall. It allows us to be able to see. Here's the sound of the leak. The sound of the leak is, is from the back port of the skimmer. So in this case, we're gonna put our pipe mic down in there we're gonna confirm. And so now we have two sources that we're hearing it. Next, we're gonna take our cones and we're gonna static test. And that always backs up our listening. So again, now we have three sources to know, but we're gonna also put it under pressure and confirm it with a fourth. So what we're gonna do is hook up our pressure rig and we're gonna set up our air and water. We screwed a standpipe into the bottom of the skimmer and we're gonna hook our inch and a half plug right to it. Here we go. So when we start our static test, our pressure testing, we have one person running the rig and one person is gonna do the actual listening. So we have a pressure drop in this case. And once we have the pressure drop, it confirms that that line is leaking. What we're also gonna do is, is we're gonna start listening with our deck plate. So again, it's air and water combo, never going more than 12 PSI altogether. So bring it up with water do it with air, and he's listening for that exact sound, for that boiling sound, which he heard back by where William's pressuring it up from, but we're gonna also listen to the rest of the line. So in this case, we're gonna take our soil probe because we're going over a grassy area, or in this case, it's an artificial turf area, and we're listening, and we're listening to the whole entire run. Here we're coming back to the equipment room, and we're not hearing anything, but it's a good habit to listen to where that whole pipe runs. From this point, we're working our way back, and here's the sound of what you're gonna hear, that boil. That boil is from the air and water working its way out of the actual leak itself. Confirms it. So that's how we got this job done. For more information, visit leaktronics.com and always check out our YouTube channel.